Hello everybody, Paul Rose here. Welcome to my new video. And um, I want to talk to you today about this wonderful new bridge that Trevor Wilkinson has fitted to this LSL guitar. Um, it is called the, the WV6R. And it's pretty much what I've been waiting for all my life. And I, and I kid you not. The reason being, is it sounds great, the intonation's fantastic, the resonance is great, the springs are great, and the tuning's great, but it looks retro, it looks original, it doesn't have a lot of kind of modern things on it. It's just engineering, thought out engineering from Trev. So, first of all, <laughs> When this bridge was designed in 1954, um, there was one integral difference with the way guitar players were playing at that time. And that is, is that the G would have been a wound string, like an acoustic guitar. Which meant that the intonation on the saddle was vastly different because of that one difference in string gauge. And what it meant was, is that this saddle was forward. The saddle was further that way. Which meant that as the string comes out of the guitar and across the top of the saddle, it was at a, an angle like that. Now, guitar players started to use the unwound G <coughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> which meant that the saddle had to be moved way back in order for the intonation to be correct. And what that did was, is as the saddle was moved back, the angle of the string became like that, which meant that this part of the string, as the string comes out of the body and over the saddle, this is a very short and a very tight piece of string, so it would get stuck. And this is why the G has gone sharp on a lot of these type of guitars for all these years. And Trev and his infinite wisdom had an idea to when drilling the block to drill the hole further back so the G comes through the block further back which means that once again this string is at that kind of angle rather than that kind of angle coming over like that it's like that again like it was back in the early days so it's looser and it stays in tune more Also, the, 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 the holes are drilled deeper, so the ball of the string goes further into the block, which means that there's less string, which means it's shorter, which means you have less tuning problems, there's less string for, to move, okay. Um, the, the, the bridge is cold ruled steel, uh, which is the original materials from the 1950s. This top screw here is tighter than the other five screws and that stops the bridge from moving this way up and down. And the other five are uh, in more, th th there's a lot more give. So, I mean, I absolutely love it. And uh, when I was at the workshop a month or so ago, um, and Trev installed this bridge onto this guitar, and this this is a fantastic guitar. Let's not beat around the bush. <clears throat> uh, Trev installed the bridge in the workshop, and there's like 20 yards, 15 yards, where you walk from the workshop to the lounge where the amps are. And I was just kind of plucking the guitar acoustically as I walked towards the, mm. the, 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 the amp lounge. And I turned around to Trev, I said, it's brilliant. You know, I, I, I could tell the difference just from acoustic the way the guitar resonates. 
That's a beautiful thing, I tell you. Yeah, and so... Um... <laughs> So what I've done is, is I've done a slow blues and um, I'm going to play that now. I, I did it before I started the talky part of this video and uh, my intention was to um, not touch the tuning keys throughout the entire track and I've kind of gone a little bit overboard with the whammy bar. It, it's, it's, it's like uh, exaggerated whammy bar use uh, to see if I can get for what is four minutes, five minutes of a little blues um, without touching the guitar tuning keys, and it, and I didn't have to; it stayed in tune. So anyway, check out, check out Wilkinson Design, uh, Trev Wilkinson. It's all, they have a shop, Wilkinson Direct on Reverb, um, and uh, have a look at this bridge and see if you fancy installing it into your S style guitar. Um, I would, I have, and I'm gonna put it in another guitar that I have here as well. So okay, let's play the blues and see what you think of the tuning stability with this bridge. Thanks very much and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.